everyone in today's video we have to solve this exponential equation to find the value of x which is given in exponent over here we have 7's exponent 1 plus x and 7's exponent 1 minus x so first of all we just distribute this 1 plus x and 1 minus x to the 7 according to the law of exponent 1 plus x plus 7 1 minus x equals to 50 the law says whenever a base having two different powers so it should be separately given to the same base and both will be multiplied so doing the same thing over here 7 power 1 multiply by 7 power x plus 7 power 1 multiply by 7 power minus x and this 50 will come to this side becomes minus 50 equals to 0. As we know that whenever we have the negative exponents we always write it with the positive one to make it positive what we were doing we just move this 7 from numerator to denominator so it will be written like 7 upon 7x minus 50 equals to 0 now this 7x is a denominator so we have to remove it but before doing that we see that both side we have 7x so we can say that let y is equals to 7x to make it easier for removing so in place of 7x we will write y so it will become 7 by plus 7 upon by minus 50 equals to 0. Now to remove y is much more easy and instead to remove 7's power x. So we can see that multiply by y. We have to multiply the above equation by y. So it will be like 7y multiply by y plus 7 upon y multiply by y minus 50 multiply by y is equals to 0 multiply by y. 7 multiply by y will result 7y square. y cancel out by y will result 7 minus 50 multiplied by y 50y equals to 0 multiplied by y 0 so now we have to arrange this equation because this one will become a quadratic equation and we have to write it in a standard form which is will be x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 so which means the variable having power 1 will become in the mid 7y square minus 50y plus 7 equals to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation to find the value of y. We have three methods to solve a quadratic equation. Number one, factorization method. Number two, completing the square method. And number three will be the quadratic formula. So over here we are applying the factorization method so we have to multiply the first and last term 7 multiply by 7 equals to 49 now we have to write the factors of 49 so the factors of 49s are 7 multiply by 7 and 1 multiply by 49 will result 49 so these are the factors by adding them we will get the middle term so in place of 50 we have to write 1 and 49 7 y square y 49 y plus 7 equals to 0 minus sign with the middle term so the greater value having the minus sign and this one will get the adjacent sign if i place plus over there so it will be plus minus minus and we will get 48 in is, in instead of 50 that's why i just place the sign of negative now we have to take common from first two and last two 
from first two we have common y and the remaining 7y minus 1 now from this one both are the multiples of 7 so we can take 7 as common the remaining will be 7y minus 1 equals to 0 for that y minus 7 both commons will be same in bracket in one bracket 7y minus 1 equals to 0 now both will be multiplied and equivalent to 0 so we can write them separately and equating by 0 7y minus 1 equals to 0 7 minus 7 moves to another side so it will give plus 7 and the value of y is 7 similarly on this side the minus 1 goes to another side of equals to it will be plus 1 7 y equals to 1 7 and y are multiplying to each other when 7 moves to another hand so it will be divide so we can write 1 upon 7 so we get both values of y but we can say that then y is equals to 7 power x because we are supposing the y y is not given in the question so in place of y we have to write 7x so over here 7x is equals to 7 power 1 so we can say that x is equals to 1 over here 7x equals to 1 upon 7 or you can say that 7x equals to 7 power minus 1 because this one is in denominator when it moves in the numerator so it will be its power will be negative so over here we can say that x is equals to minus 1 and we will get both values of x one with the plus 1 and the another one will be the minus 1 so we can say that x is equals to minus 1 and 1 hope you like the video please subscribe me to support Take care. Bye-bye.